Hello Frank, how you doing? Victor here. Just wanted to make you a quick one. So I got your units out the box finally just to see what's going on here and um, uh, these are replacement throttles. You can clearly see that there, is, there are slight differences uh, because they were produced at different period of time. This is older and this is newer. Even by the carbon deposits you can see that this is this one is cleaner this one is a little more dirtier not to worry about that that's just the way they are um, so this was replaced first this one was replaced later I mean I don't know if you have any history of the vehicle or not uh, just remind me but you can clearly see that the difference between the two we have no focus that's what we have I hate this phone with passion, I tell you. I have to do manual focus all the time, but and even manual fails. Okay, so here. Oh boy. Okay, well, I'll try it one more time. Okay, here we go. Um, so we have. Okay, it is what it is. Whatever focus I get, I'm changing the phone ASAP. So, wires. Wires are good. As you can see, these are Teflon cables. These are the new styles. These are the ones that do not deteriorate. Nice and colorful. As you can see, this is uh, blue and white. This one is solid blue. Solid black. Whereas this one is black and white. Not to worry about that. That just doesn't matter. It's just the color. It's just uh, the difference in manufacturing dates. Um, on this end units look good I'm gonna still have to look up on the other side and production dates I'm gonna try I'm gonna try with no flash yeah we're gonna try to look at the date stamp on the gear which says 05 right here 05 nice and clean next gear is 98 so obviously this is older but it doesn't matter now this is like I said this is newer this is older the friction on the brushes I just did a set actually right there I have a set of throttles on the bench right there so they're working right now see those were original 95s and I just did motors on those, but mileage is low, but still I had to do the motors. One brush in one of the motors was getting stuck already. So by feel, this feels decent actually. It does feel decent. This is less, I mean I feel that this one has less resistance. This one I can feel that brush is moving from one commutator point to another this one I do not again not to be worried much uh, but still so at least we have good news with wires wires are good so next thing is um, check the motors and check potentiometers on both sides see what's going on over there there might be some issue with potentiometer or whatnot and um, I'll send you this video but uh, call me tomorrow. Let's go over symptoms again, just so we're on the same page. Uh, right now, I'm going to spend a little time. I'm going to open up the other sides. Also, I noticed over here that this bolt seems to be taken off. I don't know. It's like it seems scratched. Whereas this one is perfect, and this one is perfect. This one is also perfect. This one. I don't know, maybe somebody tried to open them. This is like I said, this is a quick video of the first look. See what I, I just want to show you what I see here. Uh, on this end, all four bolts are, they seem to be untouched. To me, they don't seem to be tampered with. Okay, so this is where we are. And I'm going to check up on the other side and then just let's get in touch tomorrow. Let's see... Um, let's just go over symptoms once more okay and uh, then 
we'll make a game plan of what to do. If I find potentiometers, something abnormal in that department, I will let you know. If not, then uh, just gonna clean them up, glue up the cracks. Usually they have little cracks here and there. So I'm gonna glue them up and then clean up the plates. The throttles in themselves, they're pretty clean. They just need to be bathed a little bit. I have my parts washer. I don't think I need to even grind them. They're just uh, clean as they are. Okay, so this is all for me. I'll talk to you soon.